Masters top four. I went 0 2 2. I did go to this tournament in person. I live very close, right down the street, you could say. With that being said, I will be posting uh, the full VODs and action cut, if you would, as an unlisted video. Once it's ready, you can just click that link, it'll be the pinned comment. I went 0 2 2. First game was a tie. I tied against the person who had won the cup on the Friday prior. And then my second game, I won against a Zard. Made a big misplay game one, and I scooped right away after my turn two. And uh, it went all the way to game three. We ended up, uh, he ended up beating me. Game three, I won against a uh, Iron Hands. I was playing Lugia, and he, needless to say, that was a uh, instant L for me. Nothing I could really do there. And game four, my opponent started with the uh, Star Snorlax, so I wouldn't knew what he was playing right away. I beat him game one by uh, getting out of Archeops right, right away. One, he won Archeops, but it was enough. I was able to beat him, got it out in a hurry. Game two, sadly went all the way to time where uh, I ended up decking out and we had uh, an, an additional four minutes because my opponent was in the wrong table and the opponent that I was originally facing, funny story, I won the coin flip and he was about to rage quit because when I won the coin flip, I, I told him I was going second and everybody in my table heard this guy when he was like, oh, I'm leaving. You're playing Zard. I've lost to Zards back to back. I hate Zards. I'm going to Disney World. And everybody at my table they started laughing. I'm like, calm down. I'm not playing Zard. I'm not going to tell you what I'm playing, but I'm not playing Zard. I'll give you that much. And they're like, okay, okay, man. I'll stay only because you're not playing Zard. But if you're playing Zard, just let me know, man. Because I'll, I'll give you the win. It's okay. I'll, I'm, I'm on vacation. I'm going to go to Disney World. But yeah, that was my run. Oh, two, two. And that link, guys, and join me over on my socials. Join the Telegram if you would like to chat. With that being said, I'm going to stop talking and start commentating. Just remember, once those videos are up and edited, I will post an unlisted uh, day two cuts of the games only. Now to see how this uh, ends up, guys. It is uh, 3.58 in the morning. Woke up and I beat my alarm. Let me actually turn that off now before I forget. Woke up and I'm like, man, let me see this. I did not go the game day two at all. I decided not to go. But I am going to commentate and let's see how it ends up. I will be commentating the last two only. The top four in the grand final on stream. Let me mute this. Okay. Oh, both of them prize uh, raiding Greninja. Looks like he's playing Shampao. This guy's playing that ancient deck. Greninja prize will affect Jake, I would say, more than Shampao. It affects them both. He also, uh, the Shampao also prize the area, though, so that's a major L. Let me fast forward a bit. Again, guys, scan, scan. Join over in the Tella if you ever would like to chat. And remember, I'll be posting the uh, action cut as a pinned comment in this video and in the grand final. If you guys just want to catch that live, the whole uh, stream. Shampao starting first. 
Re Regan, Regan. Getting the two waters out from the Champau bitterly. Heavy ball came in clutch. Conceal cards. Looks like he got a rare candy, not sure. Nest ball. Oh, okay, I don't know the nest ball. Frigid packs, yep. Tap, tap, okay. Attach and pass. Jake turn one. Pokey stop, okay. Oh. Discarded two pretty decent cards there, but Pokey Gear can help, I guess. I think Jake needs to get another basic out because Shen Pao can knock that out, knock out that moon. Air friend vessel. I think using a supporter would have been better right there. Dane it out first, but hindsight is 2020. Attach. Anything else? Can you get a Pokemon out? Nope. Pass. Attach and pass. Jake scooped. Yeah, at least they have plenty of time to finish games now. Plus, they get an additional, uh, what, 25 minutes on top of that? For being top four. Let me drink some coffee. I don't know how many uh, Pokemon Jake has, but he should definitely have more than one basic. Unfortunate.
wasted. Jake is going first here. I'm not sure if this deck wants to go first or second, actually. in the prize okay Jake going first earthen vessel double nest ball Ninja and the moon. Concealed. Yep. Can't tell what he got. Oh, okay. The booster is good. Attach. The booster is plus 60, I believe. Yeah, plus 60. Okay. But is this an HD? It is. Irida. Wait, did he play Irida? Oh, no, he's doing the... Sharp out. Okay. Reagan showed him the Greninja. I don't know why he did that, but okay. Must have Erida in hand or something. Arvin, well, no, he don't play Arvin. Yep, Erida. Okay, yeah, because he played. Uh, he put the buddy in the Greninja. Makes sense. He's not going back in because he is shuffled, on, or he's probably gonna do concealed first. I don't know. Cause he does have the body. Okay, he wants to do concealed first. He got a water and a nest ball off of it. Frigibacks bench. Buddy. That's a good bench. Bidoof and another uh, Fraser Packs.
Reagan was about to play that nest ball, but decided not to for whatever reason. I mean, his bench is really pretty good. My only guess will be he's going to get another shrimp out, but not needed, I guess. Probably wants to save in a case of Frizzy Baskets KO'd or something. Attach and pass, I think, here. Yeah, attach and pass. Pokey stop. Wow. Two for three, not bad. I thought he's got to about to be three for three. Sada, okay. Only one energy though. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. I was about to say, why didn't we do one? Professor Sada lets you attach two, but I guess he only. Yeah, he only has one energy in him. Another uh, baby moon. Swung. 110, okay. So that means he has uh, four ancients in the discard. That moon can definitely ramp up though, if he can make it. Late game. Plus 10 for each uh, ancient in the discard. Yeah, it's good cash, yeah. Jake didn't use Raiden Greninja. Reagan has to know that he's got no energy in hand. And on top of that, he used Professor Sada and only attached one energy. Both of those just say no energy in hand. Yep, KO if you can. Does he have a rare candy in hand? Nest ball, okay. Extra shampoo, not bad, okay. Attach, retreat, bring up the fresh one, the undamaged shampoo, shivery shell again. Conceal card, draw two. Prime Casher, and I can't tell what the other one was. Ooh, rare candy. Does he have the backs in hand? No, he doesn't, but he does have Irida. Irida for another rare candy and a backs? I'm not sure. That's what I'll get, I guess. Okay, yeah, the backs for sure. What item? I will get the rare candy unless he already has them on hand. Can never have too much candy.
And is your retrieval okay? Superior energy retrieval. Earth and Vessel instead, okay. I mean, nobody has another super uh, retrieval in hand, so that's fine. Ultra Ball. B Barrel. I guess he already has a Bax in hand. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no, he does, he does. Makes sense, yeah, he's grabbed it. B Barrel on a Bax. Not looking good for Jake. Let's see what Jake can do next turn. This moon is most definitely gonna get knocked out here. Candy into the Bax. Yep, Candy. Bax. Now with the backs, he can attach as much energy as he wants. Four for the knockout. Or, yeah, four for the knockout. Because of that booster, he needed an extra one. Reagan probably wants to uh, check how much uh, ancient in the discard. No items. Wow, he got the side as the last card. I believe he had no supporters in hand. Pokey year lets you get seven cards. Seven card was his border. Does he have energy though? Or a way to get energy? I believe he has an Earthen Vessel. Oh, wait, I guess you get it from the discard. Okay. I thought it was from the hand. Okay. Can he attach one per turn? Like, can he get another one? Just for a swing here. Superior energy retrieval. Well, now he can attach one per turn. Radiant first. Conceal carry, I mean, from the Raining Greninja. Does he have enough for the knockout? I'm not sure. I believe he needs uh, 14 or 15. No, 15 for the knock. 6, 12, 18. Nope. He goes short by 4. Well, in a way, it is two for one prizer. So even if uh, Reagan does knock him out, Jake can knock out next turn, hopefully, and still be tied up. But he's running thin on resources. Jake is. Super Rod goes back in the deck, but then with Champau, he can get it out. Okay, there you go. Get two out. Oh, Jake has a penny in deck, I guess. Does he have it in hand? Canceling Cologne, discarded Orphan Vessel. Get the two energies out.
plenty of energy to uh, go for the KO here. And use that electric for the concealed. Why would he have electric? I'm not sure. Does he have an iron hands or some kind of electric Pokemon in deck? Oh, yep, iron hands. Again, guys, four in the morning. Very sleepy here. Let me drink some more coffee. Link tree, guys. Link tree, scan that. Follow, follow. He discarded the electric, though. I mean, he always could get it back out. That iron hands could come in handy as match. Let's see. Make all of these basics, turn them into two prizes. Turn them into two prizes. Isn't not capturing my cursor? I'm trying to point something out here. It's not capturing my cursor. I have it on, so it captures the cursor. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh well. Super rod. The old art. Did he attach return? No, he hasn't attached return. Nest ball for another baby moon. Boss's order in hand, but that may not come in handy yet. Just yet. Ultra Ball, discard the penny. Sage, that penny would have been helpful. Supporter for turn explores guidance. Wow. Two explorer guidance off of that one. So he's gonna have to discard them. I mean, it's good he's discarding ancients, but that is too much. He should definitely have enough for the knockout now. Well, that Shampoo's already damaged, so yeah, either way, that's enough for the knockout. Energy attach. And just like that, Jake has tied up the game. That's a good thing about playing basics. 
Double backs in field. Not looking good for Jake, though. One rare can the off of that. Cypher. That lets you get uh, two, I believe. Uh, yes, two. Two in any order to the top of your deck. So now he can do the little that with the little uh, Greninja combo and get them back out. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking, it's called. Nice little card, pairs perfectly with the Greninja. Raining Greninja, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, the energy, the damage spread is nice, 90, 90, and 2, but uh, a knockout would have been better. Unless he has a way to get the Greninja back up next turn somehow and then take a double KO, but I don't know if that's possible. Reagan, man, he should have gone for the knockout here. Again, don't listen to me, though. I went 0-2-2. Low tier player. Capsule WTF. I would have attached a capsule on the one on one of the ones that was damaged, but hey, they made top four and I mean. Pokestop. Yeah, at least he got two for three this time. Lost to Florida Main. Florida Main would not have been helpful here either way, I believe so. Boss, okay. He could have pal padded and got a uh, that penny back out, but that's a good one as well. I mean, even if Reagan goes great and Greninja again next turn, all you'll do is just tie up the game. Jake will take two here, and Reagan could potentially take two next turn. Game will be tied back up. Only downside I see is that uh, for Jake, Reagan won't have any more two prizes in the field. Looks like Reagan may take this game. Iron Hands. Wait, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reagan has Iron Hands in the discard. He discarded it. But he can always get that back out and take the game, actually. With the Ampy very much. Extra prize. Oh, no, wait, he has Iron Hands in hand. I thought he had discarded. He may have discarded and he may have more than one. I'm not sure. Okay, so he's going to promote the Greninja.
don't nap this turn though. I will go for the Greninja double knockout, double prize. Don't even play the Iron Hands because that'll be a. Uh, if Jake has another bus, boss or Gus in hand, he can uh, win the game. I always go for the double KO and amp you next turn. Superior for the four waters. Two in the Greninja, two in the backs. Take two prizes. Game's tied back up. Jake is deck out. He gotta have a way. Yeah, he has a power pad. He's fine. I didn't realize Jake only had one card left. But he does have power pad. And Greninja. So now he can actually draw those cards guaranteed. Wow. Good play. He took out the Greninja because it's weak to the amp you. Iron Hands. Good call. Lost Vacuum. Pokey Stop out. Vessel that's out of the Florida main. Super Rod, make the deck a little bit fatter. In case uh, Reagan has a way to mill him, I don't think he does. Swing for the knockout. Jake is down to one prize. Earth and Vessel, the final card remaining. Can Reagan somehow amp you? I don't think he can, no. Even if he can boss, uh, unless he can boss the other Baby Moon, but no, amp only does 130, I believe. So even with that, Baby Moon has 140. So no, it'll be out of range.
Jake wins next turn as well, so. Yep, looks like he's gonna go game uh, three here. Put up the volume on this a little bit. Hear the commentators. Iron bundle up the other one. Professor Seda GG's Game 3 baby Two superiors, one copy of Boss. Jake is up on the prize, in my opinion. Reagan has the two superiors. Buddy, buddy. Why did he shuffle? Even Jake is like, WTF? Why did you shuffle? Remember, guys, scan, scan, join up. said Lugia is not good. I am a Lugia believer. I just had a bad bracket run and well bad bracket run and then on top of that I only had that bad bracket run because I misplayed game two so bad. I should have beat that Zard my game two round two. I mean game two game two. Game one we tied. If I would have had more time, I would have felt pretty good. I would have beat him. We ran out of time. Then game three, Iron Hands against Lugia, 100% loss. I should have never been there before. I never messed up my game two. Sage. Then, of course, game four. I styled out by the lax. Decked out. Coridon in the active.
go right on. Two energy in the uh, capsule in the Coridon. So that's gonna do 60. and power tap. Jake is, I mean, Reagan is doing some quick maps. Looks like he got a nest ball in hand or arrow. Yeah, he's got an arrow though. Supporter for turn. Iron bundle. He brought it to the front to see if he pulls it. Candy. Yeah, Regan is thinking. If he can bring up one of the other Pokemon, he can take an easier KO. Iron Bundle and Candy. Hyper Blower sent up the moon. Okay, not bad. That's probably what I'll do as well. You need a Grand Ninja for that draw power. I mean, it does suck you may lose moon here in your attack, but that draw power is uh, vital. Candy down. Frigid backs or no backs caliber. KO. Explorers. Doesn't look like the Coridon's gonna be able to take the knockout this turn, sadly. Unless I'm missing something here. Right now, he's only swimming for 30. It's gonna be nowhere near enough. We even at uh, 90 total.
Pokey Gear. Ultra Ball looks like he's going to Pokey Gear. Not sure how I feel about that. And Explorer's Guidance. Attach return on the Roy Moon. Counter cash out the Baidoof, okay. At least can take out the KO here. Keep up on the prizes, that is very important. At least you're tied up for prizes. Well, Reagan promote, I would assume he promotes the Shampao. Does he have iron hands in hand? I believe he has bosses. If he has iron hands in hand, he can boss up that, uh... Oh, he has Iridon, actually, so he can get it out. Don't even matter. Does he have boss in hand? Oh, he can't Iridon and boss. Okay, he plays Iridon. Raiding and Prime Casher looks like. Raiding Greninja. Prime cash out the moon. He could Silene the Prime Casher back in deck, actually. That would be kind of epic. Free for the knockout. Looking good for Jake here. Two moons in the discard. Two nest balls in the discard. Hasn't even been able to attack with a moon. What happened here? Concealed, okay.
Moon Capsule and Attached Return. That Sada came in clutch. Earthen Vessel. Had great toast, that's funny. Right away. If Jake ends up winning this, that punch will have to come out of him. Counter catcher out the Greninja. Took out his draw power, that's good. Jake has tied back up the prizes. All of a sudden, doesn't look as bad for Jake. Looks like he's gonna promote uh, Shen Pao. Pokisa for the draw. I wish I was a count ancient cards like an overlay so I can know how much a uh, moon would do Pokisa okay not bad cypher maniac Pokisa but this he guarantees two hits Pokisop. Three items. Two of them were guaranteed, and then he top deck the Earth Vessel. Reagan has popped off with that play. Dos Energia de Agua, two water energy. So I call Greninja. Greninja back out. Oh, my backup alarm is going off. BRB, gotta turn that off. Good thing I had it on a vibrate only, that'll have been very loud.
11 ancient cards. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're keeping track now with the dice. That's good. Superior. about that can potentially work but I don't know like I see he doesn't want to risk the shampoo getting knocked out two moons in play on the moon attach return I don't know why he promoted that damage moon when he could have his gun was down damage I don't know I don't know what he's cooking up but he sees something I do not. Bussard Stadium. One item, nada más. F. Only one item. Sixteen cards. Two hundred and thirty on the iron hands. Two hundred and thirty on the swing. F's. He can iron hands, but then Jaking is knock it out. One swing. Probably gonna get the retrieval. I would assume. For the item. And it looks like a shampoo. Yep, retrieval and a shampoo. Earthen vessel discarded a uh, poffin. Electric, yep, he's gonna need that for the ampu.
attached retreat. Double attach that uh, back caliber. It confused me there for a second, but I forgot. Yeah, he can attach the water, so the water was a free attach. The electric was the attach return. Amp you double knockout, double prize. I mean. Eighteen on the counter now. More than enough. Penny in hand, pick up the Coridon. Could be a play. Two items, two for three, not bad. That's plus one on the counter now, it'll be a 19. One moon, one energy, possibly another moon here, I would say, or another energy. I will go with the moon, though. Because I believe all of them are in the discard now. He's thinking. I might go with the energy instead of the moon. Okay, okay. The rod is only two. I thought it was three. Or maybe only one for two. I'm pretty sure the rod is three. Palpad, get some cards back in, or he'll lose deck out next turn. But he does have a Palpad, so he should be fine. And Reagan doesn't have a way to mill, as far as I'm aware. supporter he wants to guarantee up top deck smart unless he does a rod then that wouldn't make sense but i don't believe he's gonna play a rod guarantee that top deck 6 12 18 22 that's 220 plus the 70 290 more than enough oh got a boss Well, either way, the boss don't even need it. He's only down to one prize. Mm -hmm. 
It looks like it's over for uh, Reagan here. Jake did good by knocking out that uh, that Greninja, bossing it up earlier. Scooped, scooped, and pooped. All right, guys. Remember, I'll be posting day two as well. Unlisted day two will be unlisted. Action cut. I've got to commentate the finals, and then I'll be uploading. Gonna take a couple hours. I have to uh, render all of it, and I'll be posting these two casted and unlisted. The rest action cut. If you guys want to see that, I'll be pinned in the comment. Okay. Quiescent. Take care, guys. Quiescent.